Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the new episode of The Road to Glory. How are you guys doing, man? I am excited for this episode because today we are matched up against Leeds United to start the episode. Nine matches, five victories, four draws, no losses. So far, we are the only unbeaten team in the championship and that excites me and on top of it boys some comments in the last episode there were some big ones first of all we talked about Angol yes we talked about him for quite some time and you guys have come in with the responses I asked the entire community should we upgrade Angol does he deserve it already? Yes or no? In nine games in the championship, he already has 11 goals and he wasn't growing. He's stuck at the 70 because he's 27 years old and dynamic potential didn't really work. Now, I looked through the comments and genuinely, absolutely everyone was for an upgrade for Angol. I saw people saying, put him at an 80, put him at, an, at, an, at a 75, 77, 74, 73. Everyone was suggesting basically everything possible. Now, if I remember correctly, we upgraded Angol from a 67 to a 70, or no, from a 66 to a 69 last season, if I'm not mistaken. And this season, guys, we're gonna do a similar upgrade. It's gonna be from a 70, to a 73. Angol now is a 73 rated striker. Guys, as long as he keeps scoring, he will keep on improving. At some point, Angol might be in the Premier League with the age of 29 with an 80 rating. That's what we want to see, right? We want to see this guy succeed. And if he continues to score goals, he continues to grow. He's the only player whose stats we will touch manually and change them up depending on how he performs because he's old and dynamic potential isn't as effective. About that though, I'm really happy. I have to say I'm extremely happy about that. And also, a couple of the comments from the last episode were suggesting to change a few numbers for the players. So I have done so. Some big changes actually. Bennett keeps his number one. We do have Lampru now with the number two. We have Tarin with the number four, which he already had when he joined. Collins has number three. Number five is now on the back of Wagner. Our captain has number five now instead of number 13. And then we have number six on Oliveira, who is the CDM of the team. Harasling keeps his number 30. I guess I could change it to something a little bit lower because uh, that seems a bit too high. Let's give him number 13. I like number 13. That was uh, Wagner, his former number. Um, Lewis keeps his number that he had. Uh, Florentine, same with him. But Davis gets number 10 now. Yes, because he is the playmaker in our team and he has the potential to be special. So Davis will keep that number 10 from now on. Harrison gets number eight. Yes, the big talent from the uh, Youth Academy who we have waited for for two years is a getting that statistic on top of him or that number on top of him cook keeps his number seven begin if he does well could take number eight away from Harrison, just saying. Angol keeps his number 19 because it has become iconic with him. Ferreira keeps number nine and Garcia gets number 11 instead of number 10. So those are the changes for the players. And then there was also a comment right here with over 490 likes and it says, train Ed Harrison's attacking attributes like dribbling, shooting, long shots, passing and so on as his potential is very high. Okay, guys, Ed Harrison, those stats will be trained for him. I will be focusing on the attacking football for him because it seems like you guys really want him to become an absolute monster in terms of moving forward and scoring goals and getting assists just like Davis. So at some point, we might have to change the formation somehow to like a three at the back, maybe even to um, get uh, Harrison involved next to Davis because we do need a defensive midfielder like Oliveira to give the freedom to players like Davis to move forward and score goals but today also 
There was a discussion that I saw early on in the comments, right when the video was posted. Gilbert said, since everyone is enjoying the series, how about uploading the Road to Glory twice in a day? Now, I looked at this comment and was like, oh yeah, man, why not? So I commented and I said, guys, would you like a double upload of the Road to Glory? If yes, hit the like button on this comment. And it had an immense amount on that comment that I posted and pinned. But here's the deal. After thinking about it, about it properly, I think there's always too much of a good thing, right? I think there's always too much of a series. If you post it twice a day, it can be a thing that you can do on the weekend, which I used to do where I did double uploads on the weekends. That might be something that I bring back for the road to glory. If you guys keep on supporting it the way that you do, of course. But I think two 30 minute, epi 30 minute episodes a day one hour footage from myself every single day. Even I myself don't want to listen to myself for an hour a day. So I don't think that's the right move. I think there can always be too much of a good thing and it can lead to people losing interest because they can't keep up with the episodes. There's too much coming out at the same time and you do lose interest. That's just how YouTube works. So for that reason, I'm not gonna do it, but I need to come up with a series that's gonna have like five to six minute videos every single day that I can post along with the road to glory. Give me ideas in the comments down below. Give me ideas for videos and whoever gives me the best idea, I'm gonna give something away to you. All right, let me know in the comments down below. Hashtag video ideas five to 10 minute videos, okay? With, that I'm looking forward to making in terms of career mode every single day along with the road to glory, okay? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm actually excited to see what kind of ideas you guys can come up with because you guys most of the time do have some great ideas. Now, also, if you are new to the channel, <laughs> I'm a bit late on this one, go ahead and subscribe and of course, turn on notifications as we go into the game against Leeds United now. I'm excited to match up against this team. Let's see how we do against one of the strongest sides in the league. The thought of being one season away, one successful season away from the Premier League really gets me excited, man. I can't wait to finally get there. I can't wait to see our players play in that league. And also, I'm really looking forward to see what Angol could do in the Premier League. Those types of things really excite me as we go into yet another episode of the Road to Glory, man. This is season three. Wagner is back from his injury and it has already improved our defense. One of the biggest issues that we have been having this season is to not concede goals. We have not been able to have a game where we haven't conceded a goal. It's actually ridiculous. It's getting to a point now where it's worse than it ever was. So for that reason, man, this episode, I would love, would absolutely love to get a clean sheet. Also, some people were saying, oh, this career mode is getting too easy. Change the sliders. Let's. I mean, what, what, am I, what am I supposed to change it to? Zero shot error, zero pass error. 60 goalkeeper ability, 60 marking, which I normally never touch, but that makes the game even harder, 70 run frequency, and zero shot error. I'm sorry, I'm just too good, okay? I'm <laughs> just too good. And the thing with this career mode as well is, I know every single player in this team in and out. Like, it helps so much when you know your team. Like on Ultimate Team, if you get that perfect team and then you keep playing games with it in Division Rivals and you play against the same type of um, level of opponent all the time, you will be a master of your team. And that's what I do with this team. So for that reason, if we are winning a lot of games when we are playing them ourselves, that's a good thing. But if you see us Losing and drawing in simulations, those are the most games of the season. Most of the games in the season, we don't even play. So just keep that in mind. There is a good balance to the games that I play and the games that are simulated. My God, what a ball from, from um, Davis that was. And there goes Cook. Cook, let's go. He is scoring again. A lot of people were commenting, what happened to Ed Cook? Where is he? Why is he not scoring any goals anymore? Lads, he's back. Last episode, he was successful. This episode, once again, Ed Cook starts off with a beautiful cut inside. One issue that I have with Cook right here, whenever we are scoring goals with him, most of the time, it turns out to be a very selfish goal. 
It's never really him getting into a good position and us passing it into him and he just finishes it. It's most of the time him having to dribble around at least five players to get a goal in, which shouldn't be how it is right now. I mean, we, we should potentially get him into better positions. Maybe some of the instructions we need to change for Cook for him to get in behind a little bit more. Also very much looking forward to see if upgraded on goal now can do a little bit better than he already did. I mean, he already has insane stats this season. By the way, Davis got himself a great assist there for that goal from Cook, I think. It was a really, really good move as we try and prevent our opponents from scoring, and it works this time around. Great. On goal, there he goes. On goal, come on. Come on, on goal. Come on, man. Upgraded on goal. 73 rated. Smashing it right onto Casilla. I should have gone for the near post. I keep making that mistake when I'm through on goal. On goal? Ooh. Nearly getting that one in. Terrible pass. Terrible pass. What am I doing? Oh, man. This is a good build-up. That's going to be a goal, isn't it? Yep. It's, again... Ugh. It's again the same thing, man. I just can't keep a clean sheet in the championship. It's actually insane. I mean, yes, we of course have those sliders turned on and they are insanely tough. If you want to test it for yourself, play on ultimate difficulty and have those sliders enabled. It is a completely different experience. But man, I just want to get that clean sheet. I know I'm good enough, but these crosses keep on ruining me. Oh, Leeds with some great play, as always. Oh no, this could be very dangerous. Collins puts in a leg right at the perfect moment. That was crucial. Could have been 2-1 for Leeds. And I have to admit, they do have the better chances so far. I have had one chance and I've scored from it, luckily. But right now, we are being dominated. If Ferreira can get to this one, this could be something. Ferreira comes back in. Davis, on goal, come on, finish it, on goal into the top left, 73 rated now, and keeps on scoring, Lee, on goal, the legend of the career mode, it keeps on doing it, let's go, yes, 2-1 right before half time, man, that is crucial, we wanted to see our team succeed in moments like these, Davis once again, with the vision for one of our attacking players, Davis with two assists and on goal with a beautiful strike into the top left corner. No chance for the goalkeeper this time. He missed one big chance and the second one he scores right before the defender puts in his tackle. Well done. 2-1. Get in. Oh no. Camacho again. People in the middle are just waiting. Tarin. That was a close one. Very close call with Tarin there. As we... Push towards the left-hand side. What a ball from Davis. Oh, my God. What a ball. Davis for his third assist. Haraslin. I have to say, mate, you're missing too many of these chances. I need to take a look at Haraslin's finishing. He has good finishing, doesn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. He has 67 finishing. Very interesting. And not the best of composure. I thought Haraslin was better with that. So this man is all about... Good movement and passing. I've been really impressed with his passing and his movement, but man, when we get into chances to score, he's not the best. I think we might have to use him as someone to sell in the future and just use Begin. We might have to think about that. Oh, here they come again. Bogus. Tarin. Tarin is a beast, man. Love him. Absolutely love him. Davis now looking for these runs once again. Number 10 on his back. Davis waiting for that run of Angol, but Angol sadly won't get to this one. He does put enough pressure on our opponent, though, which gets us the ball back. Angol, ooh, bad first touch. 71st minute. It's time for Begin. It's time for Miyoshi. And also, I want... Ah, uh, I want Lewis to get a chance again, man. He deserves one. Miyoshi, beautiful ball. Wow. And goal! And goal! Good run! And goal! For another one! Oh no! Oh man, what a save from Casilla! He is a monster of a goalkeeper, man, making some big, big saves today. And goal, I see you there. Miyoshi with the one two, maybe? Yes. Miyoshi, I see your run. Keep it going, Miyoshi. Keep it going, Miyoshi. There we go, Miyoshi. Come on, man! Come on! Cutscene! 
Stitch near post. Miyoshi. Let's go. <laughs> 3-1. I needed this, man. I felt Leeds United on top of me the entire game. They were attacking, they were getting chances in, and they were playing some really good football. And now, this game might be done. Miyoshi cutting in and getting us the goal. And goal gets himself the assist. Really good build-up. Took my time with the finish, and it worked out to perfection. Miyoshi, nice to see you succeed once again. Koji is now on three goals in the championship so far. His first game for us was magnificent, and now he's coming in as a super sub, and he's showing exactly what he can do from that midfield position with that ex ex excellent pace. Ex 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 what am I saying? Ferreira has been quiet this game. Ferreira looking for that assist from Angol. Ferreira is about to get it. Or not. Begin. Begin. Runs in into the position where he needs to be. And my man gets it done. He runs through and finishes it. Begin picking up the pieces from the great build-up play of Ferreira and Angol. Our opponent opened up. After us scoring that third goal, we never had chances like these created where we can just run in behind. And now the pace of Begin has paid off. He has scored another goal. By the way, there was a really good comment in the last episode, which I want to mention, um, that had a backstory for a player that we already had a backstory for. So I'm really sorry. We already had a backstory to Wagner that was connected to Ed Cook. So um, sadly, my man, that is something that I couldn't use because we already had one. So if you guys are making backstories, make sure that you're not making backstories for players that we already had one for. And uh, Leeds is going to get that second now, aren't they? Oh my God, Bennett, what a save. What a save. What? Oh no, they're going to give him a pen? Really? He took the shot already, ref. He took the shot already. Ah, oh, man, what a penalty. I couldn't have saved that even if I went to the right position. That is an incredible penalty. 4-2, Leeds United do get themselves one more goal with Ezjan Alioski. What a name, by the way. Has to be, like, from Albania or something because those ones have names like those most of the time. The ref blows the whistle, guys. It is a 4-2 victory against Leeds United. Yet another game without a clean sheet. We couldn't get it done. And why are they showing Haraslin? Is he like the man of the match for some reason? Hold on, let me check this out. Why are they showing Haraslin? What did he get? He got himself a 6.9. He was terrible. Um, and goal. Got himself one goal, two assists. Ferreira, for the first time in a long time, not really doing anything in this game, which is interesting to see. Um, but Davis was the outstanding man in today's match. I really liked him in that midfield, played some incredible passes and um, had a great performance. I'm going to take Cook out of the um, the training sessions and I'm going to train up Harrison. Uh, one of the things that we had um, told us uh, by you guys in the comments down below uh, have been told um, is basically you guys wanting to, the reserves team to improve a lot as well begin by the way going up to a 74 it genuinely only is his passing that's lacking with begin so um, once he improves that we're gonna be good but re right there what a picture by the way what a picture love that um, we are now in the first position with 22 points three teams on 22 Brentford on 21, West Brom and Stoke on 20. You can clearly see it's a very, very tight business in the championship at the moment. And we are starting to score some goals with players that we normally never really score goals with lately, especially Ed Cook finally getting involved a little bit more, which is nice to see. We have a manager role offer coming in from Nottingham Forest. Of course, I will accept not by. Um, we have the Youth Squad Monthly Report. We have the original um, injury issue that we keep on having every single week and Lana is being approached by Sampali for 3.2 mil I am not interested in that on the 19th we should be getting a new scout report and uh, a lot of people will say get a new camera as well but it's it's not happening here we go what do we have we have uh, do we have any growth in these I think Kamara has grown he was 61 rated he's now 62 guys nice to see Kamara is going to be a great right back for the reserves team. Now, again, as I mentioned before, a lot of people want the reserves team to be a team that I focus on now in terms of signings because they do believe that we do need a very, very good reserves team for the Premier League. And I do agree. I do agree, guys. So 
uh, we will have to have a really good reserves team at some point. Right now though, I'm really focused on the main team because there's always things to improve in a team that has a 78 rated player as the highest rated player. Tarin has joined on pre-contract and he has been exceptional by the way. I've really enjoyed him as a center back. He has put Collins aside and has shown what he can do. So I'm very happy with what he's doing. But we're up against Nottingham Forest right here. What do we have in terms of games after this? We have Peterborough, QPR, Luton. Where are they sitting in the league table? Peterborough, QPR, Luton. Okay, Luton 13, QPR 19, Peterborough 21. So I guess we jump into this game as well. Try to beat Nottingham, who just offered me a job. That is going to be an interesting matchup right here. And uh, we're going to try and beat them. And I think Begin deserves his starting lineup spot. He is slowly creeping up to the rating of Araslin. And Araslin, I'm sorry, buddy, but you are missing too many chances for me. Begin has that exceptional finishing on him, which um, is even better than some of our strikers. And maybe has the best finishing in my team, actually. Let me check. We have 76 on Ferreira, 71 on Angol, 79 on Begin. He is the best finisher in the team, which is ridiculous to see. So um, we're going to play against Nottingham Forest right now, guys, and try ourselves once again on the clean sheet objective that I put onto myself in today's episode. Hopefully we can pull it off because I really, really want one at some point, anytime, soon please oh five goals in the last three matches for Vale six goals in the last three matches for Ferreira now this is gonna be an interesting matchup why did his shoes look like clown's shoes it genuinely looked way too big for him but Ferreira is not gonna get intimidated by that hopefully in this match he can score a goal again because um, he has been a bit quiet lately and Angol has been the main man in the team scoring the goals, but we don't have anything against that, to be honest. What is this big fat shadow in the middle of the pitch, by the way? Come on, man. Like, literally. Get it sorted out. Ooh! Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! Go on, Ferreira! Ah, they're too fast! Ferreira! Left foot! Bang it! Oh, Samba! Oh, what a name for a goalkeeper. I love that. Cook. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, yes! Get in, Cook. He's still going. Look at this dribbling, man. Look at this dribbling. It's actually insane. No one is... Three people are trying to catch up to him and no one is able to do so. Are you kidding me? Wagner. Davis. No, that was Davis. Cook. Still going. Oh, my God. Cook hits the post. Mate. What is he doing? <laughs> Cook is taking people apart. Cook. Plays it into Angol. Cook gets it back. Cook. Oh my god, that move. I love that move. It looks so slick and it's so fast as well. And it does irritate the opponent to a point. But sadly, in that case, it wasn't as effective as we get it to Ferreira and Angol. We do need some more support by people like Davis with that exceptional dribbling. Davis gets it back. Davis turns. Davis still going. Davis still going. Davis. Cuts back in. He's still going. He still has control of the ball. Into Ferreira, who hits it right onto the defender. Man, oh man. Ferreira, with a goal drought, has scored six goals in the last three matches. But he has a goal drought. Yeah. All right, Johnny. No, 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 no. Not like this. Yes, Davis. Well done. Man, this referee and his color is really messing me up. It really is messing with my head. Ferreira... Every time I look right there as well, I tried to switch to him because I wanted to defend that position. This is really getting me, man. Every single time it gets me because he's completely black as our kits are as well. Next season, I need to make sure if I have a black kit, I need to have it with like red socks or something. Davis, come on. Right before half time. This is it, Davis. This is it, Davis. Go on, Davis. On goal. What a pass. Davis now through. Good defending there. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with Nottingham Forest, man. They have been one of the best teams, if not the best team that we have played against this season. In terms of their defense, I just can't get through. It's tough and they do have enough possession to create chances themselves. So we do need to be careful in the second half, man. We really need to be a little bit more efficient with the way that we are building up our attacks. Pereira, going to bring it down to Wagner. Wagner now looking... For Cook, but he cuts inside for some reason. Davis with a great turn. Bring it back into Davis. Here goes Cook now. Cook back into Davis. Come on, Davis. Oh, ref. Ref. 
I mean, he got the ball, but still, it looked very, very harsh. Man, I'm impressed with the way this team's playing. Really, really impressed. They're now getting a chance. Cross coming in. Header, Thiago Silva. Up against Bennett. Bennett does well enough. And here we go on the counter, maybe, now. Come on, boys. I need that run. Ferreira. On goal. On goal. Ooh, referee. That is a yellow, at least. And it is a yellow in the 67th minute. Do we have anyone to swap out? Cook is a bit tired. We're going to take him off, boys. And we're going to go with... Uh, do I go with Miyoshi down the wings? I do really enjoy him. But I think Lewis is better suited for the wings. Uh, later on, we're going to bring on Miyoshi in midfield when I'm pushing for that victory. Right now, I want to keep the solidity of my midfield a little bit. Into Davis. Into Begin. Into Angol. Over to Ferreira. They somehow keep on getting away, man. They somehow keep on getting away with it. Oliveira. Big mistake. We lost the ball in a position where we should have never lost it. And now they might be through on target. Tarin pushing him away. Tarin does well. Yes, really well done. Ah, oh, am I not getting that ball? Come on, it's right in front of me. So many times I've been able to nearly touch the ball. Oh, no, no, no. You're not scoring on me from there. Oh, my God. They are actually... Oh, they are actually doing it. They're actually doing it. <sighs> not only did they take away the clean sheet... Nottingham Forest is saying, all right, you don't want to sign the contract with us? Well, we're going to beat you. That's what's happening. What a goal. Oliveira a bit too passive. He's a bit too passive in that position. We're going to bring on all the pace that we have. It's going to be Miyoshi. It's going to be Garcia. And we're going to try to score the equalizer. We only have two or three minutes left. Let's see what we can do. Pereira, oh yes, he's doing it, isn't he? He's doing it. Play the ball, Ferreira. Play the ball. Come on. Yeah, the ref is going to blow the whistle. We're done. We lost against Nottingham, man. I tried to make the substitutions. Brought in Miyoshi. Brought in Garcia. And we have lost the first game of the season. For the first time, I've actually been stomped out by a team completely. We have not been able to score. We have not been able to create any, any good scoring chances. I'm extremely impressed by Nottingham Forest, man. This might be a team that we will have to deal with in terms of uh, the fight for promotion. Wow. Just very impressed with what they have done. You can just see I didn't have too many chances. This one right here from the corner. He nearly broke his leg. This one right here where we took a shot with Begin. It was a close one, but not close enough. This team was really strong. Congratulations to Nottingham Forest. Now, Haras Lin is coming in with a message, and I'm just going to say that he's going to play this next match. We're going to take off Begin for this match because it's going to be a simulation anyways. So hopefully we can get a good result here at home against Peterborough, who are not really in a good position in the league. We are now three points behind the league leaders, which are obviously Nottingham Forest. Haras Lin, I would really appreciate if you could step it up and score a goal in this one because... My man, you've been talking. You've just been talking, not really doing anything. And Angol gets a goal right here to get us started. 1-0 and then Lampru gets involved. I think this is going to be a victory and it's a big victory. Even Haraslin scores. But look at the main man, Angol. Three goals for Lee Angol. He is just insane. Is he going to have... A performance like Ferreira last season. Is Ferreira going to be the one that's going to chase down Angol this season? It actually looks like it might be. Angol right now is the main man of this team. And he is performing to levels that we would have never expected him to do so when we started off in this career mode. Now this time we're going to switch it up. And we're going to be playing um, Begin in this match that we have and we're going to let him know that we'll consider playing him so he should be happy when we jump into this game and let him play qpr uh, possibly a little bit of a better opponent than um than our last ones peterborough and ferreira there we go finally he's back with his 11th goal of the season he gets himself one 
QPR not really able to get anything going in the first 45 as Ferreira scores another one and the clean sheet is gone. Duncan comes in with one and Ferreira now makes it three. All right, I see. It's the battle of the hat tricks, but Ango gets one for himself as well. So you can see this battle will continue throughout the entire season, man. I love it. These two are going to be fighting for the top scorer position for a long, long time. Um, I'm going to say, Begin, you did well. Congratulations, man. And we do have a player suspended. Lampru is going to be missing in the, in the next match, which isn't really that great. But we do have some good backups. And uh, Pedro Jesus has left the scouting system. Interesting. And Harrison... Goes up to a 62, lads. You said to train his dribbling and his shooting, so we're doing that. Currently sat in a second position, chasing down Nottingham. This could be the chance to take over. It is going to be a game that we go through once again. I told you guys we're going to play the two big games and then sim the next three. And that's what's happening right now. We're playing against the um, below top 10 position teams. And so far, it has really worked into our favor. And it seems like Haraslin is playing as a left back. Interesting. He is replacing Lampru, and Ferreira has scored, but Angol, I would need you to score the winner, please. Come on now. Oh, wow, we're losing. Mate. Oh. Well, that came out of nowhere. I did not expect that. Loot in town. Beating us right there. In a fashion that I did not expect at all 12th position for them we are now on 28 points four points behind nottingham forest i do not like that i do not like that at all but we're going to focus on our youngsters and train them up and in about two days we should have a youth scout report from both of the countries where we have sent our scouts to so before we play against a former premier league side in stoke city we do have the scout updates flying through the window um this one is worth 325 still 325 Still, 140, not interested, 110. I'm only looking for players above like 400K at this stage. And none of these players actually have it in them. That is a bit upsetting. We do go through over here. Pedro Jesus has left the scouting system, so um, we can remove that guy. 110K, ooh, this could be something. 300K, come on, man, it says 50 to 72. Be better, be better. We're gonna keep him around. This one is 20K, ooh. Oh man, it says 53 to 75. How can you be worth 220k? Come on, man. You're getting my hopes up. You're getting my hopes up. None of these players are actually worth taking into the team, sadly. Very unfortunate, man. By the way, guys, I've just realized one thing. We haven't gone for a Scout the Future Star this season. Let's go for one. We're going to redeem this item. And we're going to wait for the future star because every season you can do it once as far as i can remember so we are sending the scout out to find us a future star we the first time we did it we got wagner as you guys might remember this time around we are looking forward to bringing something similar i mean look at wagner and how he is now five for ten tall five star week for four star skills an amazing amazing right back who Probably would be much better suited in a central position due to his stats. You can clearly see his defending is only at 65 and um, his passing and dribbling and his pace are really good. Even his shooting is quite good um, for a player in his position. So for us, um, Wagner definitely at some point will have to move into midfield in my opinion. That is something that we have to keep in mind um, for the future. But man, I'm really happy with the way this team is going. I'm genuinely extremely Please, with the way this career mode is going, with the support of you guys, and of course, the way we're just chasing down promotion after promotion, just trying to get into the Premier League has been a big task, and hopefully next season we can get that done. But as you can tell, in these last few games that we have played, there's a long road to the Premier League, and only the first two get promoted directly. We are currently in a playoff position, which isn't really where we want to be. But in terms of goal scorers, Angol and Ferreira have scored a combined total of 30 goals in 14 games. You can just see that this attack force that we have built up for ourselves is going to be incredible. I can already see it coming, guys. One day, there will be a big offer for Ferreira. 
which is going to be above 100 million and that day will be a tough one for me because then we will have to make a decision for the road to glory itself but man i don't want to do it i don't want to sell any of the standout players that we have right now like for me personally if i had to put a veto or veto or however you say it in english on certain players a lock on certain players to not be sold that would be ferreira angol davis cook wagner those are the ones those five are the ones where i say i will probably never sell them but when it when it comes to bennett for example when it's an outstanding offer we can let him go because we do have uh, the goalkeeper young who is quite good as well 72 rated obviously he's just waiting for his chance to take over so for players like Collins, who I actually really enjoy, it would suck to let him go. But again, if it's a good offer that's going to help the road to glory, we have to consider stuff like that. But most of the players, I feel like I just don't want to let go. Wagner, Cook, Davis, Angola and Ferreira, I'm just so happy with. But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching yet another episode of the Road to Glory. Hashtag video ideas down below, please, for videos that reach from 5 to 10 minutes that I could upload upload every single day i would really appreciate your guys input and whoever has the best idea will get a giveaway for himself so go ahead and do so thank you so much for watching have a great day take care peace